Some call him a political liability, a leader with a fragile ego. But Donald Trump again proved he remains the dominant figure in the U.S. Republican movement. At the Conservative Political Action Conference just outside Washington, he drew the biggest, loudest, most enthusiastic crowd. Well, thank you very much, and I'm thrilled to be back at CPAC with thousands of great and true American patriots, and that's what you are. Running again for the White House in 2024, he is the man to beat for the Republican presidential nomination. And in the halls of the conference, many delegates admitted they won't be swayed by other interesting options. Well, I think there's one guy that you know can get things done, and we, he's proven it. And um, I think we need him back in office, and I think the people you know see that. If this is any representation of what people are thinking, he's going to have a very nice time in 2024. Do you think you'll quite easily win the nomination? Definitely win the nomination. As long as the field stays big, the smaller the field goes, I think it'll be harder for him to win. But if he's one of 10, he'll win with 35% of the vote from the, from the primaries and then go into the general election. From the former president, it was a familiar message. America is failing. He alone can fix it. There's only one president in history who has ever taken on the entire corrupt establishment in Washington. And when we win in 2024, we will do it again even stronger, faster, and better. Because He's promised to build 10 new frontier cities, offer a bonus to Americans to have children. But a lot of what he says on trade and immigration is recycled from his last presidential run. The former president spoke on the day he released video with January 6th prisoners singing the U.S. national anthem. Supporters awaiting trial or convicted of offences after the U.S. Capitol was stormed two years ago. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Donald Trump is still the favourite here among the grassroots and in many of the polls to be the Republican presidential nominee. The question is, is that enough to stop others who think they can be president jumping into the race? Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, at the CPAC conference in Maryland.